This is my new turtle pond. The windstorm destroyed my fence. From my backyard, I can see my neighbor's backyard. I'm using the post and the fence board for this project. This is the new location of my turtle pond. I use concrete blocks, which I got free from the quick list to do my layout. Position my six post and tree branch on the top. Time to paint the older boards and the post. Clean up the ground and start to do the construction. I use the dust to temporarily hold the post. Then fill up with the cement into the hole, which also I got free from the quick list. Then I use a screw to nail in all the fence boards. All the boards are carefully measured and in position. The play sand is the only thing I bought from Home Depot. The two doors are made separately. The hinges are also left over from other projects. The playground is almost ready. Now I put in my old turtle pond to see if it fits. I put a turtle in and they seem very happy with their new home. The doors have clear plastic sheets and the top plastic posts are also free from the quick list. The top can be opened like that for easy cleaning. I add a green plastic garden fence on top to protect from wild cat and the birds. I also made a new bridge Turtle seems like very much. The new home looks so nice, even the birds come to check it out. Now is the time to do the electric. I want to use this water plastic bottle to protect my electric switch. Make sure the plug can go through the opening. I need to figure out the distance between the two holes on the back. I tape a piece of paper onto the power strip. And roughly draw an outline. Then I flip over. Find the location of the two holes. Poke through and mark it. Then cut it out as my template. Double check the position. Then I need the mark on the plastic bottle. Now I need open one side so my hand can go in and plug my outlet. Time to install my electric cover. It's located on the left side of my turtle pump. Use my template to mark the two screw hole. And we drill the two hole. Then take two screws and poke through the plastic bottle. because the opening is on the bottom. So I have to use a very short screwdriver to do that.
after the plastic bottle is in position. Then I can put the power strip inside the plastic bottle. Done. I need another plastic bottle for my extension cord and the plug into my power strip. I'm doing the same thing. I need to open the button side. I left one side uncut so I can just uh, flip open. That's perfect. Mark the position and pre-draw the hole. I will put this plug underneath my power strip. Use two screws to poke through the bottle and nail it in. Ready to plug in. This way will protect all the electric power against the rain. The third bottle is my filtration system. I wanted to open two areas for my waterfall. That's the first one. The second one is a little harder to cut because it's softer now. Okay, I need these two flips to stay open. So I use a heat gun. Make sure you're not overheat it. While it's still hot, you start bending them. When it cool down, it will stay in that position. Keep them open. That looks pretty good. I don't need them that long, so I cut it. I realized the opening is too small, so I cut out the middle to open it up. This is my filter material from an old pillow. The polished fiber. I cut it open and get the fiber up. A lot of fiber inside. This pillow probably can last me a year. Put a handful of fiber into the bottle. Now I need to close up the middle that I just cut. I pick up a little plastic and just need a little piece of that. And hard glue it onto the middle piece. And make sure it's extend a little longer. That will create a little lock. 
So when the water goes into the bottle, the fiber will not flash out. When I open it, I can change the fiber by filter. The whole system is working now. My little pump pump the water into the filter. You can see the happy face of the turtle. They are so enjoying their new home. And they have a much bigger playground to play. This filter is after three weeks. It filter out a lot of stuff, even the red worms, leaves. It all filter out. See if I can clean it out. After this power wash, I think I can reuse this fiber. Okay, this one is more than a month. It's much dirtier and even a lot argy. I think I just threw this away. Besides, I have a whole pillow of fiber to use.